Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Virgo, we're going to do your April 2022 read. Just try to finish them up before the end of the month at this point. Finally had a day where I had some time and I felt pretty good, so I figured I'd get the set done. Okay. Oh. Hermit reversed, Princess of Wands reversed. You're not talking to anybody right now. Feels like a little self isolating. Not jumping into anything. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Conflict. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about the conclusion of this. I'm definitely got some clarifiers on it. Little tippy. Empress reversed at the bottom of the deck. Mm. One second, y'all. It's extremely tippy. That's a little better. Didn't have a table quite low enough <laughs> to be able to be seen by the camera, so I had to finagle something. Ooh. Inner turmoil? Something painful coming to an ending, the healing process, defeating one's inner demons. What the heck just happened?
Why the full reversed? Not wanting to jump into anything new. Return. What's returning? Return to something else. Knight of Wands. inner demons healing allowing something to end you don't want to jump back into something there may have been some player ways involved here maybe somebody left you out in the cold why the king of wands reversed with how you feel about them don't move forward cowardly you need to keep your distance. They're at a distance from you. Draining. Are you keeping your distance because they're draining? Why the devil for what you think of them? Why the devil? Why the devil? Why the devil? Tower reversed, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Swords. Mm. That's a battle. More battle than it's probably worth for you. Could possibly be. All or nothing. All or nothing. Like all or nothing on a toxic level. Rebuilding may be toxic because it's very all or nothing. Being chained, being bound. Before I address this, why the Nine of Pentacles? Why the Nine of Pentacles? They don't work a lot, they work a lot. Maybe they work a lot. Concentrating on work. Two of Pentacles reversed, Six of Wands reversed. Okay. feel rejected? 
They feel less than. I invested all this work and I'm less than. The Fool, Four of Pentacles. There's the Fool. The Fool's in the upright. Page of, page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They let you go. They're concentrating on work. They're on a new cycle. They've let you go. Why the wheel of the year for how the other person feels about Virgo? Eight of Wands. So a cycle's ended. Forward movement. Fast forward movement. You moved quick. This ended quick. This ended quick. Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. They're not happy. What they think of you. Chariot reversed. Avoiding conflict. No reunion. Cordial. If this gap is ever closed, it's going to be keeping it cordial. Avoidance of conflict. He kind of think the same way about each other. You straight up think this is going to be toxic. There's just like, you know what? Let's avoid conflict and just keep it cordial. Hmm. Why is Virgo's intentions the Prince of Cups? The moon, the truth. There's a dose of truth in that cup. There could be a conversation at some point. Truths of the matter. Oh, magician reverse, magician reverse. Can you manipulate someone with the truth? Page of cups, Queen of Cups. I don't like being a finger pointer. Why is this magician reversed here? Devil reversed. Justice reversed. I feel like they like being a finger pointer. That feels slightly narcissistic. Hierophant reversed. Wow. reversed at the bottom of the deck. Vicious cycle. <sighs> Virgo, I don't know what you've gotten yourself into, but this is a vicious cycle.
Why is the Four of Cups reversed here? So you hand them a cup. I think there's just enough truth in that cup to not have to tell the whole truth. Hence the Magician reversed. Three Swords reversed. Three Swords reversed. It's like they're ignoring it. It's like they're not processing the emotions. They're ignoring your cup because they don't want to process the emotions in the cup. I definitely see them trying to manipulate you and think that they've changed, but I don't think they have. Maybe they're threatening you with divorce. Some of you could have been threatened with divorce. Why is the high priestess reversed here? Page of Swords reverse complete cutoff in communication. Or saying something in a not so kind way. Truth coming out in a not so kind way. Three of Wands reversed. I'm no longer waiting around for you. And it's over the world. Let's get some wisdom. Somebody's not processing the emotions that are going along. Somebody's in denial. Somebody could straight up be in denial of how they really feel. Somebody's not going to wait around to figure, for the other person to figure it out. Put yourself where you see fit, guys. This has just been conflict from the get-go. And I don't think it was ever meant to grow. Higher power, number four. Conscious contract with a higher power. The presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. The Oracle's message. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then, get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. Relationship message. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power, called God, Goddess, Spirit, or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with Spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond which you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. Okay. Virgo, this has been your message for April 2022. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. I appreciate your time. I send you off with peace, love, and light. Know that you are loved and be blessed. And I will catch you next time, whenever next time may be. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in May.